In this video, we are going to see how to use lock in C Sharp to avoid race conditions. We remember that a race condition is an unexpected situation that happens when you use parallelism. Let's see an example. Here we have this numbers list and we are saying that we want to do a parallel 4 because we want to use parallelism to execute this code that we have here. So we do some stuff, then we add an element to the numbers list and then we do more stuff. Now, this section of the code is important because we will have several threads that are interacting with a shared variable, the shared variables being numbers. This is a problem because this data type is not thread safe, which means that we will have a race condition when using this code concurrently. Let's see. Let's press Ctrl F5 and let's see that we have an exception, but more interesting than that is that if I execute this code several times, we are going to see that sometimes it throws an exception and other times it doesn't. But even though we don't have an exception, we have the wrong answer. So the solution here is to avoid the race condition by using lock. As you can see, we have two choices when using lock. We can use the new lock object, which is available from C Sharp 13 onwards, or we can use object in earlier versions of C Sharp. Anyway, in order to use it, we say lock object, and then here we put the code that we don't want to execute concurrently. Therefore, only a single thread at once is allowed to execute this code, and therefore we avoid the race condition. Let's see that. Control F5, and let's see that indeed everything is working. Follow me for more Donut content.